Good evening, everyone. I'm Erin Clark. Dan Green is off tonight. We are beginning tonight with new information into that tragic car crash in Aptos last night. It happened along Freedom Boulevard just down the street from Aptos High School. A black Mercedes with seven young people inside was driving erratically and across the center line and hit head on a Ford pickup truck. Tonight, we now know the names of three of the four people killed. Action News reporter Phil Gomez is live in Santa Cruz with tonight's top story. Well, Aaron, traffic accidents don't get much worse than this. Seven young people riding in a Mercedes sedan when the driver swerved over the yellow line and into an oncoming truck. Witnesses say the driver was driving recklessly before the horrific crash. I slammed on the brakes, came within feet of hitting both vehicles. Um, I jumped out of the car. She grabbed my phone, dialed 911. Elaine Spotswood witnessed the crash. She and her daughter were right behind the truck that was hit head on by a black Mercedes. First checking on the driver of the F 150, then the seven people in the Mercedes. It was a horrific scene inside the car. I knew people were not wearing their seatbelts. I knew people had perished at that point. This graphic shows where people were sitting inside the Mercedes. Those killed are identified in red. In the front seat, the driver, Arturo Avalos. Teresita Brady, who was sitting on the lap of Osvaldo Mogoza Ortiz. And in the back seat was a 16 year old girl who was a junior at Renaissance High School. Angel Magana visited the crash scene today. He was a co worker of Avalos at Cabrillo College. They worked there as custodians. He wasn't a friend. Um, being, 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 I only worked for three months. With them, but on uh, those three months, you actually established a good relationship. The CHP says there are indications that alcohol was involved. There were moving violations that included no one wearing seat belts, and there were just too many people inside the car. And they were going about 60 miles an hour, uh, and then another witness who mentioned they saw people hanging out of the moonroof and hanging out of the windows and that sort of stuff. So it looks like it was just chaos. Renaissance High School was hit particularly hard. Three of the victims had connections to the school. One of them, a 16-year-old girl, was a current student there. Counselors were sent to help students and staff deal with the loss. She was a very sweet student. Uh, she was very diligent. Uh, just uh, uh, always seemed to have a positive attitude. Um, you know, uh, when she'd smile, her face would just light up. And she got along with everybody. There are also four people, including the driver, of the F-150 truck who remain hospitalized. The, CHP will, the CHP will want to talk to them to get their perspective in what happened in the fatal crash. Erin? All right, Phil, thank you. Renaissance High School does plan to keep counselors on campus throughout the week to help students and faculty deal with the tragic loss.